Ooh, what up, people? It's your boy, Master Chudy, out here with another comic review. So, once again, I'm getting to my backlog and <clears throat> going to Sideways number three. And, uh, you know, I heard things about Sideways number five not being good and all that good stuff. When I get to it, I'll see where it goes. But I feel like this is a very cool new superhero. You know, he was in the hospital, the cover eccentric, anything. He's been facing this new villain that I seem to have forgotten her name. But, you know, he's, I like the pose, he's looking heroic, he's looking buffed, he's got his finger ready to warp, tear into time, portals, and all that good stuff, you know. Very exciting looking comic, it's very dynamic. And you got the outline of his mask right here, and then his city. It's awesome. So let's get into it. Last, his mom and Ernie got knocked out. <clears throat> so this is Test Run. And Ken Rockefeller and Dan Didio are the storytellers. And I maintain the last time that the fifth one might not have been good is because Dan Didio wasn't on it. But let's get to it. So, we just see not the best of days. Face down a cosmic monster, fell off a building, hurt my shoulder, got yelled at by mom. Now I've got to act all superhero against an obvious supervillain when all I really want is to find my pants. So, you know, that's pretty good. It's like, if you think you can take me on, it's a mistake. So why don't you lie down and die like everyone else? And then he's like, oh, wait. Are they dead? I mean, it's obviously no. So, <clears throat> he has his mask on. He's like, Killspeed, that's her name. So, it's like, my heart skipped a beat, but Killspeed's lying. No one's dead. Mom's just out cold, which is sort of a good thing. Don't need her awake to see what happens next. But leaving her like this makes me wonder. Makes make wonder if it makes me a bad son. So, he's like, should I leave her here or try to protect her? Ernie has me worried. She's conscious a second ago and might be hurt than she let on. Not sure what to do. I mean, we're already in a hospital. So we see that, um, how sweet, but personally I think you should be more worried about yourself sideways. Uh, I say, I, real, I have a real hate for this hospital, everyone in it, and you and your friends are just collateral damage. I know you want to take this outside, but I prefer to finish you off right here. So she's charging at him, and he's like, not good. I say, don't worry, this will be quick. And she's like, not quick enough, and he opens up a portal, and she's like this, and she just gets on sake. Ugh, like I said, we're taking this outside, whether you like it or not. It's like, if you guys can hear me, I promise I'll be back as fast as possible and get both of you to take care of before things get worse. So, they're in the parking lot. <laughs> it's like, where? It's like, the rift I opened, it was right in front of the hospital. She's out where somewhere. And she's like, what the hell happened to me? And she's like, I call it, him. <clears throat> I call it rifting. First time can leave you a little disoriented, but trust me, you'll be fine. It's like, what do you know about me being fine? I've been everything but fine for the last couple of years. I don't want to hear your, I don't want your sympathy, kid. I just need to get him far away from here. So she starts fighting. It's like, as far away as from possible, I've had enough hospitals and doctors today. It's like, she's like a bomb waiting to go off. I have to stop her, but she's impossible to catch. Not really dressed for it either. Still, I have an idea. So he starts opening rifts around the city. And so that um, he can catch where she is, which is very, which is very nice use of his powers. Very nice, very cool. And he's like, like I'm pushing my, pushing myself and my powers further than ever before. Never knew I had it in me. It feels liberating. So he's like, wow, I'm getting better at this. So it's like harder than I thought. I have to keep looking, see if she runs fast, and then he locates her. And then Bazinga, that's one cold breeze of north. I think she want to go somewhere warm instead of here. The West Gotham Pier, guess she kept running until she couldn't. It's like, you know, we really have to stop meeting like this. You huddled over and me desperately trying to maintain my dignity. And she's like, look, shut up. And she's like, there's so much I've done, so much I need to do. I keep forgetting every step gets me closer to death. I say, like, what? Why attack a hospital when it's clear you need their help? And she's like, they don't need, it's like they didn't help me before the accident and only made it worse. I took the name Kill Speed as a joke because the only thing my speed kills is me. So basically after the whole Gotham thing that happened, and it was like this, I lived in Central City, a lot like Gotham with the Chef Disasters. One night, a couple of years back, there was an electrical storm that lit up. I'm not sure where, I'm not sure, oh, so this is more of like the Speed Force storm, kind of. I'm not sure what it was, something to d see. It's like, but I didn't even notice. I had my own problems with leukemia. It's like, I had a drug treatment that kept the cancer under control as long as I could pay. My insurance only covered so much, and I was nowhere near famous enough for a GoFundMe. Hospitals turned me away. 
but while I might have been too worried to notice the lightning, the lightning noticed me. So this was um, when that whole Speed Force storm came and gave everybody speed-oriented powers. It gave me speed and I used it to help the needy. In this case, the needy included me. I took whatever I needed to cover my achievements. This new power seemed to, too good to be true. It was. I should have known there's no such thing as good luck. So it seems that the thing accelerates her cancer. Every time I use my powers, it accelerates my metabolism. It lets me think and move faster, but it spreads the cancer faster, too. And he's like, you're, it's like you're dying? It's like, it's like, by the time I had enough money to cover the treatments, I was too far gone. Just the universe's little joke. It's like, there must be an answer. It's like, let me help. It's like, so that mask and gown are barely concealing a world-class oncologist because you sound like a freaking kid. It's like, it's like, you need to go back to the hospital. It's like, and it's doctors. It's their job to heal people. They can't turn you away again. And she's like, I almost believe that. And I said, yeah, once they hear your story, I'm sure the police will treat you fairly. It's like, fairly? So I thought that was, uh, that was a mistake. Thought I was making progress. So he clearly triggered her. <laughs> and he's like, when does life treat you fairly? And then he gets blasted away. His shoulder's still in too much pain. So I said, great, so I made her man and hurt my arm again. This whole superhero thing is getting a little ridiculous. Will you calm down? Can't you see there's no reason for any of this? Oh, I can see much clearer. Up to now, I've been afraid of dying, holding myself back. You've reminded me I've got nothing to live for. It's like, now, nah, no, like, nah, no need to hold myself back any longer. It's like, holy crap, a bus. It's like, incoming. Bam. So, it's like, I gotta get away. So he managed just to rip the butt bus in half. And then we just see, aha, uh -huh, the editor again. We had a little disagreement about what was the best... <laughs> Sound effect for rip, so instead we decided to let the art speak for itself. So, okay, this looks like a thunder thing. But anyway, it just slips it out, and this is an awesome two-page splash of him displaying the awesomeness of his powers. Just say, I've always wondered, what was on the edge of my riffs? Going with solid and destructible. Of course, I don't have time to think about it now, because here she comes. Like, you want to play hero? Let me show you what happens to heroes, kid. So, she's creating a vacuum getting um, his oxygen away. Then um, he realizes that his rifts are like indestructible. They can be solid. So she, he goes ahead, creates a solid rift. She trips over it and gets knocked out. Um, manages to gasp for air. It's like, I don't care who's around. It's hard to breathe my mask on. I need to talk to Ernie about that. I think she's unconscious. Key word being think. That's quite a fall. And with her being ill, Like we're being Hill, she's like, I wish I could just help. What, sh what she'd say about being sympathetic? First, I'm a bad son. Now I'm a bad hero. And if this is the end result of being heroic, I don't like it much. So he's like, Wow, can I really do this? It's like, Oh great, the police show up, and I still, and still no pants. But if Robin can run in green shorts and pixie shoes, I've got this. Officer of Gotham, thanks for your assistance. My name is. Keep your hands where I can see them. Step away from that woman. Oh, yeah. Where were you when she threw a bus at me? <laughs> You're like, this is definitely Spider-Man-esque. So I was like, she's right in front of you. Blah! It's like, get down on the ground, both of you. You're shoot. It's like, I'm not finished with you. It's like, oh, it's like, that's it. If you're still pissed, take it out on the police. I'm out of here. So he warps out, lands in the, <laughs> lands in the, uh, lands in the park. It's like, ha, made it away. Not exactly the superhero debut I hoped for. Wrecked a hospital, destroyed a bus, but so you don't know what happened to kill speed, and I don't care, just happy to be free of her grip, and it's clear that he teleported her arm off. <laughs> so we just see Um two days later, sick enough with the wheelchair, Jerry. Can't you just stop? I'm fine to walk. Sorry, Mom, practice orders. I have to deliver you curbside. Insurance reason. Really. Then why do I have a chair why do I have a chair, not Ernesty? It's like, let's just get home. The last two weeks have been beyond embarrassing. I came to the hospital to take care of you, and now you're taking care of me. That's not the way it should be. That's exactly the way it should be. We're there for each other. You just see, speaking of which, what have you been doing for the last two days? I didn't see you, and of course she gets a phone call, and the mom's like, oh, hi, Helen. It's like, Helen, this is Judy from Human Resources. We're trying to reach for you. I'm reviewing final candidates for the Dark Star Research Internship, and I was wondering if your son is still interested in applying. It's like, you know he is. Good. It's like, as soon as you're back in the office, we'll set a time for him to come in. I know management has taken a very keen interest in Derek. It's like, it's like, indeed we have. So it would seem that 
there watching him. And of course we get a little bit of an intro about his powers, but that's really of no importance. So, you know, this is a fun book. I like it. You know, give us a good 8.5 out of 10. Very cool young hero with great powers. I continue to recommend it, despite the bump that might have been issue 5. I'll review issue 4 soon to get on with my backlog. So thank y'all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notifications to make sure you're notified. Once again, I do these reviews for you, the people, because I want to discuss good comics and get your views on them. Thank y'all for watching, and I shall have more videos up later today.